everyone! Today's video is a DIY topiary and decorate with me collaboration with two wonderful creators. Jody from Southern Seasons and Antoinette from Decorating Ants Place. I'll make sure that I link both of their channels below in my description box and whenever their videos are available, I'll make sure that I link them to my playlist. I'd appreciate it if after watching my video, you'd go over and show some love to Jody and Antoinette because I'm sure that their topiaries and how they decorate are going to be amazing. And just a little bit of a backstory before I get started. My YouTube channel is still very new. I've only been making videos for six months and Jody has been such a huge inspiration to me and I believe it was back in February. Jody gave a shout out to many wonderful YouTube creators and Antoinette and I were included in that shout out. And if you've been following my channel, you already know that I love cre or collaborating with Antoinette. We've already collaborated twice and I've really enjoyed it. And I have been wanting to collaborate with Jody for quite some time. So I've had this idea for a video to make topiaries and then show how to decorate with them. But whenever I really started thinking about it, I thought, wow, it would be really nice to include some friends in on this. And I just thought it would just be just such a wonderful opportunity to collaborate with these two amazing women. So I was so happy whenever they both said that they would collaborate with me. So I just want to say thank you, Jody. Thank you, Antoinette, for joining me on this collaboration. I can't wait to see what you've created and how you're going to decorate with them because I know they're going to be truly amazing. So for my DIY topiaries, I chose Tuscan inspired. I wanted something that I could use for the spring and summer. And honestly, if I wanted to, it could probably even get me into the fall. But I love making floral arrangements, but I've never ever made a topiary. So this was my first attempt and I'm really excited to share it with you all. And I'm going to show you step by step how I created my topiary. I'm only going to show you how I made one because they're identical. So I'll go ahead and show you that footage and then I'll show you how I plan to decorate with them. So here's just a little look of all the beautiful items that I'll be incorporating in my topiaries today. And there's going to be a lot of beautiful texture and elements that I'll be using. And I'm really excited to start working on these. And yep, those are grapes. I just couldn't resist. I'm going to have to add some grapes into these topiaries. And this is the pot or actually the urn that I chose for my topiaries. And the reason I chose this was because I just found this one about a week ago at Goodwill. And I actually have an identical one that I've had for a few years. I've just never used it. But I thought these are going to be perfect because whenever I was trying to find a pot for my topiaries, I just, I looked everywhere and I just could not find what I was looking for. And I was so happy whenever I found this because I thought these are going to work perfectly because I didn't want to just use like a clay terracotta pot, but I did buy some just in case I had to go that route. So I was tickled pink to find these, you guys. And this one I paid $3.99 for. And the previous one that I bought, I actually found at my church's thrift shop. So perfect. So what I'm gonna start with is adding my floral foam. And I did already go ahead and cut a couple of pieces that I'm going to add. I might have to cut a few more. And I just use a regular old knife, kitchen knife. I don't use anything fancy um, and just a little cutting board. That's all that I use. Nothing, nothing um, specific for cutting floral foam or anything. And it works just perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some of this floral foam in here now. I 
actually I'm going to cut this one down a little bit. So, and as you can see, that works just well. I think one more little piece ought to do it. And this is just the number 18 Florifoam. And I believe I bought this one at Michael's. It might have been Walmart. It was one of those two. how it will look after adding the floral foam. My next step I'm going to be using a foam craft ball and this one is the 6.7 inch and I'm just going to unwrap it because I'm going to be spraying this with adhesive to help make my moss stick. So. And, and what I'm going to do to spray this with the foam adhesive so my hands don't get all sticky is just take a little, like a hook, and just insert it. Because then that way I can hold on to this and get it sprayed really good. And this is the adhesive that I'll be using. And it's by 3M. And now I'm just going to cover this really good with the moss. And you don't have to have every little area covered, but it does help because then if you don't have as much greenery or floral on it, it won't show the white of the ball. My next step is going to be to add this. Uh, this is going to be like my base that's going to hold my topiary ball. And I'm just going to go directly down into the center. And at least I'm going to use this side here. There's a little stick under there. Okay. But I think I'll go with this side. Now I'm going to add my styrofoam ball. The next thing I'm going to do just to make this a little bit more stable is just take a couple pieces of twig and just kind of like anchor it. And you'll never see these and you could use anything. It's almost just like a little shim whenever you're doing construction just to kind of anchor a little bit better. I mean, I could have glued it, but I didn't want to have to wait for the glue to dry. So I thought this is going to be another good way that I can just kind of stabilize it a little bit better. There we go. Much better. And of course, I have to add some grapevine since this is going to be a Tuscan inspired topiary. And I'll go ahead and show you how that looked whenever it was soaking. My grapevine has been soaking in this water for about a week now, so it should be good and bendable. And this grapevine, I got it out in our woods. I just went and gathered it. And let's see, I think I'll probably need about Oh, this much I'm gonna I'm gonna try wrapping this much here so what I'm gonna do is just tuck this into my foam ball and 
and then I'm just gonna and this will also help to anchor my uh, stick and the stick also came from our woods um, it was just a sapling that had fallen or died so we just gathered it and I used it and I cut it into two pieces and this piece is probably about maybe 16 inches tall that I'm using or 16 inches long I'm sorry so that's bending really nice so but I'm gonna add another piece gonna cut this off just a little bit and I apologize my puppy is in there barking now she has finally discovered that mom's outside and she's not so <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this one also And it looks like my plastic is starting to blow away that I had from my styrofoam. Just anchoring that into the foam. So there, that's really easy to wrap grapevine around a stem. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my Spanish moss to the bottom. So then that way I'm going to go ahead and take this Spanish moss inside so that it won't blow away. So just by doing this, I mean, it's already coming together. For my next step, I'm going to be covering almost this whole ball with uh, this greenery that is like a grapevine. I'm not exactly sure if it's grapevine, but that's what it reminded me of. So I thought that that's perfect. And this was from Michael's and I believe it was 40% off and it's the Ashland. So. I'm going to go ahead and start covering this. I'm going to show you me covering some of it, not the whole ball, because it'll take a while. But I already went ahead and cut my pieces from my one bush, and I'm just going to place them around. Here's what it looks like so far after adding the grapevine. Now the next thing I'm going to add is the sunflowers because they're the biggest flower that I'm going to be adding. So I just want to make sure that I have the placement for them nicely. So, And like I said, I might have to stabilize this a little bit better after um, I'm all done.
Next, I'm gonna add these poppies. Well, I'm not sure if they're actually poppies or not, but they resemble a poppy. So I'm just gonna add these in different places. My next step is going to be to add some grapes before I go any further with any of my other floral because I just kind of need to know my spacing. So I'm just using, these are just um, your floral picks that you can use to attach to um, different decorative items that you want to uh, input into a floral arrangement. So I'm just going to cut this one down just a little bit so I can anchor my grapes and I'm just going to cut a little piece off here. It doesn't have to be very big. And these grapes are ones that I purchased from Goodwill. I actually lucked out a couple of days ago and found a couple more bags and I just realized that I got these all covered with the floral foam whenever I was cutting it, but it's okay. Not a big deal. But let me see which one I want to use here. But I think I want to go with the red one. And this is where these little things come in really handy that are on the grapes. You can just put these through and just bend that up and let me see where I might want to put my first one. Let's see. How about right about here. And then I just had that folded and I'm just going to just push that into my foam. like that and if I don't like the placement of it I can always change it but and just adjust the greenery around it a little bit but so uh, there that's something that you can do with grapes now I'll go ahead and add a couple more Next, I'll be adding these beautiful little champagne colored flowers. Now I'm going to add some of these beautiful violets. Next, I'm going to add these cute little flowers, and they remind me of bleeding hearts.
The next thing I'm going to add before I get any further are two of these and I just think that these are adorable and I love to incorporate these in my Tuscan floral arrangements. So whenever I was envisioning creating my topiaries I knew that this was definitely an element that I was going to have to add and right now I'm just trying to get around all of that moss that I have. So I'm almost done with this topiary and then I still have one more to create, but I'll be creating that one off camera. And I gotta make sure I get these done because it's almost time for my collaboration and I definitely don't wanna be late for that. And I still have to get ready. I gotta get in there and get dressed and get my makeup on. So I still have a lot to do. I have to go get a little bit more firm. Alrighty, well all that's left to add is two more pods of grapes. And I'm going to use longer ones for this and I'm just going to once again just insert it through that little hole. And I think I want to put one right here on this side. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. So that's my Tuscan topiary. Now I'm going to finish my other one and I'll see you guys inside. So first I'm going to add the beautiful topiaries that I've created. And I apologize if you can't see everything close up. i got to do a lot of stepping up onto my heart. But I promise I'll give you close up shots after I'm all done. And I think I forgot to mention whenever I was making my topiaries, I bought all of my floral at Michael's except for the sunflowers. And the sunflowers, I bought those at Walmart. And the grapes also came from Goodwill, except for the ones um, right here. And these ones were purchased from Hobby Lobby. So next, I'm going to add this tin. And I don't want to have it centered because I'm planning to layer. So I'm just going to set that there like that. Try to get that over there. There we go. The next picture that I'm going to add is this beautiful picture that I bought from the Dollar General. And it's of the truck. And I love the red truck for um, the fall and Christmas. But whenever I saw this with the summer scene, I thought it was perfect. And I only paid $10 for it at the Dollar General. So I'm going to put this here like that, and I know I'm covering this up, but I basically just wanted this is just to give a little bit of texture behind this picture. So I'm completely fine with covering that up. And I might have to adjust these a little bit um, after I can actually get down and look at everything. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I love roosters. And whenever I was thinking about creating my mantle, I thought, oh, I won't put a rooster in this display. But I couldn't resist. And I'm going to add this picture. Isn't it cute? I just love the face on this rooster. I think it is too funny. And I even bought this at the Dollar General. And I only paid $6 for it. It's like, you never know what you're going to find there. Sometimes it's like they have the best stuff there. So, so what do you think? So now this area here, I'm going to add this beautiful plate. 
And this plate is part of a chip and dip set. There's a little bowl for the dip that you can set in the center. And this was actually a wedding gift. And I've been married for almost 26 years now, so that tells you how old this is. But whenever I was thinking about using the sunflowers, I remembered that I had this and I thought this is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to set that right there, just like that. And I think it ties in so nicely with my sunflowers. So now for this side of my mantle, I'm going to add this beautiful blue lantern. And I'm sorry, I hope there's not a glare. I really can't see right now, you guys, to see if there's a glare. Um, and I think it's beautiful. And I only paid $3 for it at Goodwill. And I'm going to set it right here. So whenever I started thinking about this, I knew I didn't want to add a candle. I wanted to add something else. And because I have so much yellow going on in my display, I really thought I wanted to add lemons. But every container that I had wouldn't fit in here properly. And there's only glass in the front and in the back. And that's how it's made. It's There wasn't glass on the other sides because you can tell that there was nothing to anchor the glass on. So whenever it was made, there's no sides. So I thought, how am I going to get my lemons to sit in there? So what I did was just took some um, acetate paper that you can use for like scrapbooking and just different kind of crafts. And I just cut it in half and just taped it together just so that I could make like a cylinder to hold my lemons. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to add all of my beautiful lemons. And these lemons here also came from the Goodwill. What do you think? Worked pretty good, didn't it? So as you can see, it's really coming together, but I still have a lot of greenery to add. And I think I forgot to mention that this greenery is from Michael's. It's one of my favorite greeneries to use. And what I'm going to do next is add a bird nest. And this bird nest came from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to place it right here. And I also have a couple of little faux brown eggs that I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to set those in my nest. I might have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it to stay how I want it. And I also have this cute little blue jay. I bought a pack of them from Hobby Lobby. I just want to sit him on the nest. And 
here is my mantle and topiaries. So now I'll just give you some close-up shots. Well, that's it for my video today. Please remember to stop over and visit Jody at Southern Seasons and Antoinette from Decorating Ants Place and show them some love and tell them that Melanie said hi. And I'll also link their channels below in my description box. And if you like this video, please give me a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. And as I always say, I'll see you in my next video.